everyone welcome to my channel my name is Kelly from Kelly Lee creates and I teach lettering and digital design tutorials today I have a tutorial for you on how to trace in silhouette studio so what you see on the screen is what you're gonna learn today you you're gonna learn how to take an image like this this is a PNG and turn it into a cut file like you see here so what I've done is I've just imported this PNG onto a new canvas and we are just going to work with this. This PNG is from Design Bundles and it is completely free and I will leave a link to this PNG um, in the description if you want to pick it up. So as you can see when we click on this, uh, there's a box that goes all the way around. And if you come over here to the send panel, you can see that the red line, which is the cut line, goes around the outside of this image. And there are no uh, red cut lines inside the image uh, along the other colors. But this is not the way we want to cut it out. We want to cut out each individual color separately. And to do that, we are going to have to separate the colors from one another by using the trace function. So the trace panel is located over here on the right hand side. It looks like a little butterfly. Uh, that's what I think it looks like, a butterfly. So. Click on the trace panel to open it and then up here at the top you're going to see three different options. Um, the first you can select a trace area, this middle one you can trace by color, and this is a magnetic trace. We are going to use this middle, middle one right here, this trace by color, this eyedropper. So all you have to do is click on the eyedropper and then click on trace by color. And then it will say select the color that you want to trace. And then you just come over here to your PNG and click on a color. I'm going to start right up here with this yellow. And I'm going to click on it. And it's going to turn yellow. And that means that we, when you hit trace over here, it's going to trace everything that's in yellow. So once you have everything in yellow, you just come over here to the trace um, button right here and click on that and it will trace that port of, portion of the image and you know that it's done because the yellow goes away. So next I'm going to come over here to this orange portion and I'm just going to repeat the process that I did with the yellow. I'm going to hit trace by color and then click on the orange and then come down here and click trace. And then again, when the yellow goes away, you know that the trace is done. Okay, so now I'm gonna come down here and work on this portion of the cactus. So again, I'm gonna hit trace by color and I'm gonna select the light green area right here and it's gonna turn yellow. But there are several light green areas that I want to trace um, along with this area. So all you have to do to do that is come over here to all areas and click that. And then you can see that all those light green areas turned yellow at the same time. And if you hit trace, you can trace them all at once. And so I'm just gonna do that again for this dark green section of the cactus right here. So I click and wait till it turns yellow and then come over here to all areas, click that and then click trace. Now I want to come down here to the pot for a minute and I'm going to trace these um, white areas in the eye right here. And I want to show you what happens when I repeat the process that I did up here for the cactus down here with the white areas of the eye. So I'm going to hit trace by color and select this white uh, pupil right here and it turns yellow. But if I go over here and select all areas, because I want to select this right here and I want to select these two things over here. If I hit all areas, this entire box turns yellow and that's because this is a PNG file and it has, um, the way it was created, it has a white background. 
And so this is not what we want. And so if that ever happens to you when you're trying to trace um, several areas at one time, unfortunately, you're just going to have to trace each one separately. So just click on this white pupil here and click trace. And then you're going to have to repeat the process for each of these white areas. Okay, so I've gone ahead and traced around all the other colors. And when you are finished tracing, all you need to do is drag the original image off of your canvas. And so you can make sure that you got every uh, little piece to cut out. And so now you can see that all of these pieces are separate. And so you can cut them all out on whatever uh, color vinyl that you choose. So that is how you trace a PNG or a JPEG in Silhouette Studio. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any new video. If you want more Silhouette Studio tutorials, you can find them on my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.